Hi, Ashley. How are you? Are you are you ready to go? Are you, you're still training, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we took a two month hiatus, but we're back now. We've been back for two weeks now. I mean, of course, it's a disappointment when you thought the games were happening this year, but it's just postponed for a little bit. I mean, it was definitely a letdown because. We look at, we have our calendar set for two years, right? So we're looking forward, we're like building up, building up, have all of these milestones that we reach and pass and we're like, okay, we're getting closer. And then we start to see events getting canceled and different organizations shutting down. And then like we finally get shut down and get told that the Olympics are gonna get postponed. So it was like a gradual buildup and then a big letdown okay, grieve the loss, but also we have a new goal. We're moving forward. Like the Olympics is now in 2021 and we have an extra year to prepare. So new mindset, new focus, shift. Oh, I, I love that. Spoken like a true athlete. And one of the things <laughs> we love so much about the Olympics are the stories. And you have one of the best stories out there. Please tell me, when did you start swimming? How did it happen? And then what was it like playing water polo for the first time. I don't really remember playing for the first time. I started when I was nine. I have four siblings. We all learned to swim because we had a pool in our backyard and my mom's a, a home visit nurse. So she thought that every time she left home, we all like fell in the pool and couldn't, drown, couldn't swim and drown. So that anxiety made her put us in swim lessons. And then she put us in a swim team that happened to have water polo. Fast forward, you're on the U.S. Olympic team for water polo. Um, tell me about that journey because there aren't Black women doing this right now. Um, yeah. You're, you're, you're the, only, the first one. I mean, I talk about this a lot, but representation in our sport and in general, just it matters a lot. If you can't see someone who looks like you, in a place where you want to be, it just makes it that much harder to get there. So I take my role as being one of the only Black people who are on our national teams very seriously. I hold that responsibility very dearly because I know how important it is to see someone who looks like you where you want to be. I never really had the Olympic dream, not in water polo. I wanted to be a gymnast, but <laughs> I never had the Olympic dream because I, I just didn't think I could be here. I saw the national team. I saw what they're achieving. I knew I was good in my age group, but I just, I was just like, okay, <laughs> that's them. And this is me. Like, maybe I could go to college and play water polo. Maybe I could do this. And my parents' mindset too were, was always like academics, like do this, which is so important to me and so important to them. But I think having someone who looked like me on the national team would have been what just, it would have lowered that barrier for me. It would have helped me be able to see myself as an Olympian and have that dream for myself when I was younger. I, you know, I'm kind of curious because when I think about this, I'm, I, like I, I play Tiger Woods story kind of through my head. Did you ever experience any problems as you were going up in your career and swimming um, being the only black girl or one of the, you know, probably one of the only um, on these teams? Was that, was that a challenge? Being the only one is always a challenge. You're carrying a lot of responsibility. You're carrying a lot of, you're facing a lot, like I face the typical stereotypes, like black people can't swim. What are you doing here? Like the space isn't for me. I shouldn't be here. I want there to be a support system for um young black kids in the sport i want them to feel like they belong here i want this to be a place where they're safe and comfortable and don't need to be protected because <laughs> that community of support is already there and it's there for them girl no one's gonna mess with you now you're protecting the goal <laughs> that's the most important thing <laughs> out there congratulations just on what's coming up and it sounds like you've got an exciting year ahead well thank you so much ashley Thank you, Danielle.